David Fye, the, technical, uh, the Director of Technical Marketing with the AWR Group of National Instruments. And I'm here with Itzia from uh, URAD. Anteral. Anteral is a, the company, URAD is a, a business line within the, the, our company. Okay, great. And uh, you're a, a, a relatively new customer of ours, I believe, with AWR. And you've done some interesting work with a radar design uh, that we are presenting here at European Microwave Week 2019. And I thought maybe you could help walk uh, people who are viewing to what you're demonstrating at the show. But it's a, I, I can see, it's a 24 gigahertz URAD FMCW um, radar, and, and maybe you could talk to some of the parts. So this component here is? Uh, well, what we have done is uh, to develop a radar system that is able to uh, develop and, and create new applications. So uh, we are collaborating, collaborating with National Instruments modeling our radar system. So uh, here uh, what you have presented is our uh, all the parts that compose our uh, system. So we have all the details about the microchip that we are using and also all the information that uh, is required for the antennas and for the post-processing to understand how our radar system is working and what you can do with, uh, with it. Okay, great. And so, maybe I'll, I'll click through some of the... So, so this is the, the chirping of the FMCW, showing the instantaneous frequency. And uh, I guess this is your chirp signal. Yep. And your transmit spectrum. Now, now this is all in our uh, virtual system simulator software, mm -hmm. but you have hardware that this is emulating. Yep. So maybe you could walk us through that component that's over here. Yeah. Uh, so what we are seeing is all the modulated of the signals on all the things that uh, are involved within our radar system. But we have here our uh, hardware, which is uh, doing all this, uh, all this processing and all this information. So we have the, the transmitted and receiver antennas and also the microchip that is uh, used for, for the radar, um, for the radar sig uh, signal. And all the components uh, are well, on the other part for all the post-processing of the, our uh, system. So um, what we have developed is a radar system, a really powerful radar system that is able to, to connect with uh, Raspberry Pi here, for example, and uh, the user can uh, modulate all the signals and uh, inter, um, and play with all the parameters that are involved in a radar system. So they can select the frequency uh, bandwidth, they can select the number of samples and all the details, and they can uh, create their own applications. So uh, together with uh, National Instruments, we are modulating all this information with your uh, system. And, and so you mentioned Raspberry Pi. So there's an interface to do everything that you just described, and we were going to show that. Uh, we, we have created the radar system and all the processing of the signals are done within our microchip, but uh, we have also created different libraries to connect with uh, open code uh, systems such as Arduino or Raspberry Pi. So this way it is really simple and easy to program the, the system. Okay, maybe you can walk us through this now. Yeah. Um, our radar system is able to work at four different modes of operation. So we can uh, select the different modes uh, here, up here. Uh, I cannot go there. But well, if we want to measure velocity or we want to measure distance or both parameters at the same time with the mode 3 or mode 4. So uh, here the user can configure all the parameters, such as the, the, the number of targets, the number of samples. Uh, we, we can also, uh, here you can see the frequency that we are uh, working, which is 24 gigahertz. Okay. But we can also select the bandwidth that we want to, to use. Uh, once uh, the user has done this, uh, they can also select the mode of operation they want. So for example, here we are measuring different targets at different distances, which are also uh, sampled here. And we can see all the, all the details of the signal over there, here. As at the same time, we are also able to see all the... All the, the um, the Fourier transfer of the, our signal, of the IQ signals, uh, and all the, all the data can be saved. Uh, all, uh, you can save all the raw data or also all the parameters related to the distance or, or signal-to-noise uh, um, 
values. If you go to the velocity uh, mode, you can measure the velocity that we are uh, approaching our radar system, and all the data the details will also be uh, appearing here. So this is more or less what okay. we do. That's great. And then I noticed it says you're at education. So this is an educational tool for people developing radar? Yes. Uh, we believe that it's really useful for students that are at the university, for mm -hmm. example, that they want to get into the radar technology and they want to, to know more details about that. And also, not only the theoretical part, but also how to use it uh, and how to develop different applications using a radar system that is really working. Um, and also it's very useful for companies that want to develop other applications and, and want to use our radar system uh, to do that. Okay. Well, thank you very much for this impromptu uh, demo and uh, good luck. It's a, it's a pleasure working with you.